The Centers for Disease Control is altering the rules for when health care workers who test positive for COVID-19 can return to the job. This is Omicron cases surge around the country. But some are saying the quarantine period is just too short. Our Nabil Ramadna joining us now live to explain. Thank you very much. Yeah, the, according to the latest tweet from the Texas Department of Health State Services, Cases have doubled in the state over the last week. We're seeing cases rise here locally in Travis County as well with more than 4,500 active cases. Now the new guidance from the CDC cuts the quarantine time for healthcare workers from a previously recommended 10 days to seven days. Healthcare workers with COVID-19 who are asymptomatic can now return to work after seven days if they receive a negative test. And that isolation time can be cut shorter if there are staffing emergencies. Also, those who have received a COVID-19 vaccine, doses as well as a booster do not need to quarantine at home following high risk exposures. It's a move that some healthcare professionals are worried about. National Nurses United, which is the nation's largest union of registered nurses, has condemned the move, saying doing this during what could be the most devastating surge yet will only result in more transmission, illness, and death. Although there may be a push to say, let's get back there sooner and see if it works, what you're doing is putting yourself and the patients more at risk and ramping up, taking the chance of ramping up the pandemic, lessening from 10 to 7 days. Is the, this is the worst time to be doing that. Selena Shia, the president of the Austin EMS Association, says it's a difficult decision to make, but at this time, it's appropriate. We do need to balance making sure we have enough staff in the field that aren't being unnecessarily quarantined. Um, and so we're having to make this awful choice. Do we shorten the quarantine, which does increase risk, but it also provides more staffing? Um, or do we keep the very safe 10 day um, and thereby reducing the number of staff, increasing burnout. The new guidance currently applies only to workers in health care. Now, I did reach out to some of our local hospital systems about what plans are in place if staffing levels do get low. Baylor Scott and White tells me our COVID staffing preparation efforts include continuously studying and forecasting the staffing levels and deploying and recruiting team members, including supplemental contract staff as needed.